This video is a guided tour of Rocinha, the largest favela in Brazil. Although it's classified as a neighborhood because it's become so developed, Rocinha is still pretty much a favela, which is a term for a shantytown, basically. Back in the day, the favelas were home to many drug dealers, but in November 2011, the government came in and took over. The funny thing is, a lot of the locals I talked to said that the favelas were safer back in the day when they were controlled by the gangs. The reason? You don't take a dump in your own backyard. You control your area with an iron fist, so apparently there was no crime in the favelas. Still, it was never wise to roam around as a foreigner with a DSLR taking pictures of whatever you wanted to. Luckily, Harry Snell spent his time in Rio living in Rosinha with a local friend who linked us up with Levy, a local photographer who has a studio inside the favela. So, with a native photographer who grew up in Rosinha, we navigated the streets with three very expensive DSLRs without incident. In fact, it was a fairly loving and positive atmosphere. I don't recommend doing this alone though. Try to get a local whenever possible. This felt like a blessing compared to the tours I saw where travelers were in safari-like caged vehicles touring like they were about to cheat death. I'm serious. We had a relaxed walk to the winding stairs and the major roads. I even tracked it all with my Nike GPS watch. We stopped to have a bite at a local dive, saw some interesting bars, saw lots of graffiti, and got many warm greetings. And the views were breathtaking. Enjoy the journey with some random narration. Um, because uh, it's hard to get materials here, um, this is uh, these are sacks which you can buy flour in. Mm -hmm. They get the sacks when they use the flour, they fill them with sand, and these are made into stairs. So, this was like an education facility for arts and other learning. Um, but like it happens so often, apparently there was a lot of corruption and the money didn't really get to it and uh, it fell into disarray. But the local boys used to keep it really clean because apparently they uh, brought their girls here on a date. But uh, the cops found out, stopped it and you know without the boys taking care of the place and, and this is what happened to it. Where's Jesus? Yo it's me! This one looks Asian. This is Levy's photo studio. Uh, if I find a link to his, his place, I'll put it in the description on my level up. Uh, really grateful he took us around, and his studio has a wonderful view. So if you're ever in the area, it's cheap and support his business. And if you know Portuguese, maybe he can uh, take you around a little bit. Yes, these are chickens. And these are their brothers. <laughs> oh, that's sad. That's it for now. Please subscribe to follow the rest of my adventure around the world doing martial arts, uh, marathons, and celebrations.